Hello there, I'm Sir Fancy, and in this tutorial I will show you basics of chaos, basically everything you need to get started. So let me just demonstrate it because everyone loves demonstrations. So let's click on play and now you can see that I have here these pillars that are from this weird strain field which you can ignore for now. And if I shoot it you can see that it reacts to my gunfire, it slowly destroys itself and it depends where I shoot it, it will fall down etc etc. On the right side you can also see performance that it's not as heavy as it could be. So let's get to it. Alright, well to use Chaos you need to have preview version of Unreal Engine. You just have to click on this plus button and find here this 4.26 Chaos. So I'm not gonna add here another one and let's just launch this one. We are creating a game and let's create first person shooter which is right here. And we are going to have starter content and everything else can stay as it is. Let's call it chaos underscore demo and create the project. All right, so now first of all, let's click in edit and plugins. We need to make sure that everything is enabled. If you just write here chaos, everything should be fine. But we also need to use field system right here. So make sure that you enable it. And yes, it's experimental. I would say it's more of a alpha than beta, but let's keep that for yourself. <laughs> Alright, let's close it and you don't have to restart it because we'll close the whole project. And now if we go back to Epic Launcher, we will need to add some assets that I have prepared for you. So let's find that project, right click on it and show in folder. All right now we will go to folder content and you have to import here this folder which you can download for free on my Patreon link in the description. So let's put it right here. And now we can again start our chaos demo. All right, so now if you click here on content, you should have here your chaos assets right here with all the materials, etc. etc. Now let's make sure that we have saved everything. I know we just started it, but you will have to save a lot. So first of all, let's get us some assets that we can destroy because that's what we are here for, right? To unleash the chaos. So let's go into starter content and architecture. And usually most fun is to do it with pillar or something like that. So let's take that pillar and add uh, some material to it. So let's go into content again, uh, starter content and materials. There will be some bricks or so, so let's do this. So now we'll click left here in these modes and click on fracture. Again, save all just to be sure. And what you want to do is to have, make sure that you have clicked on this asset in this pillar and click on create new or generate new. What this will do is to generate new geometric collection, which is kind of asset that can be destroyed in chaos system. So let's just delete this to pillar underscore geometry collection and create geometry collection. And also here in content browser, you can see that we have here new asset pillar geometry collection. So what you can do if you don't want to look at this white Thing. You can click on this left show bone color, deselect it and you will have here your original material. But let's do what we are here for, we want to destroy this bastard. So let's click here on fracture and we have different ways to destroy it. Generally you will end up using clustered or uniform or in some cases you can use planner or slices, uh, depends what you are destroying. I am going to use clustered and before you click on it, save it, trust me. <laughs> And here on this left panel, you can set up how much it, you want it to be destroyed. So let's move this outliner down and we, here we have cluster Verona. You can play with these settings to have exact kind of destruction you want. And I believe that this is X and Y axis or something like that. So let's say that I want only 8 on this axis and here on 16. And you can see that somewhere here it's destroyed. It's Verona texture so it probably won't be X and Y but Either way, if you increase these numbers, it will increase the amount of uh, sharp, sharp panels you get from it. So now let's click on Fracture. And if you take that outliner back up and also this level statistic, you can see that it was destroyed into 56 different pieces on level 1. Ignore these levels for now, I will explain it in a bit. So now make sure that save have again everything. I swear that I'm not joking. It's kind of strange that it didn't crash yet. It's a bit of an unexpected behavior for one deal. So let's move that all up and now we will just simulate it and see what it does. And you can see that it kind of destroyed itself, it's falling down. Seems pretty cool, I like it. 
So what we can do here is first of all, click on this pillar geometry collection. You know, some assets that you can change, for example, collision type uh, between implicit and particle implicit. Uh, particle implicit is much more precise and much more expensive, etc. Yeah, I would recommend you to read Unreal documentation where you can learn much more about that. Hopefully they will also update it for this new UI very soon. And most important is probably here implicit type where you have to choose what kind of collision will these separate shrapnels have. Right now it's set to box, so actually around each of these pieces is not a collision as it would be with regular mesh, but it's a simple box. That's why you could have seen that jump when you started that. It's relatively cheap to render and calculate, but you can see that it doesn't look that well. Maybe pretty good for VR or mobile. I'm not really sure if Chaos is or will be anytime soon supported on mobiles, to be honest. So don't take my word on that. Another way is to use Sphere, which generally looks bad, but you can look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much the problem. And you can see that it's rolling like nothing not a problem see ya mr rock other thing is capsule which uh, is even worse even if you read uh, unreal documentation they don't recommend to use capsule right now so don't do that we can see what it will do but i don't think it will be interesting and definitely not use useful here we go definitely don't use capsule because the last one that you have here is level set, which is most expensive and most precise. Let's see if we can see it. Because if you use level set, yeah, there we go, mate. You can see that it's actually using real collisions around that object. So it created collisions uh, based on probably on vertexes or something like that. Again, don't take me up on that. But uh, it pretty much is much more precise than any anything else and right now because it has only about 60 pieces which is not that much let's be real i will leave it in level set you can also decrease or increase uh, minimal level set resolution which will basically make these collisions less or more complex and it can help you with performance depends how precise you want it to be and now when we are in this setting, let's also make sure that we look at materials, because what you can do here is to change this one material. Because right now, what it will do if you destroy it, it for the pieces that you didn't see previously, it will use again same material as it did before, which is kind of unrealistic. Usually when you destroy something, it doesn't have same texture inside as it has an outside. The other thing is that it can be a bit expensive, so it's maybe a better idea to put here just simple brown color or something like that in the center of it. You can see it a lot in games for, for, for like Fruit Ninja, etc. Et also, if you are using level set, it's, per, it's a better idea to change it to particle impl implicit. These are probably most precise collisions you can get with uh, Chaos, but again, it increased complexity. But it's starting to look kind of cool, look at that. Alright, so now we have our destroyed mesh, but so let's see what we can do about that. There is one more thing you need to understand about Chaos system and that it operates with clusters and these levels that you could have seen here. If you click on the asset, you have here Chaos setting and clustering. So what you want to do is work with these damage thresholds. Well, first of all, let's change our max cluster level and let's say that we will want around three levels which is the maximum that we want to use. And you can also, you also need to have three levels for that. You know, let's, let's do actually two. Remember we are using zero, but we don't really need cluster levels when we have 56 of them. So let's try to destroy it a bit more. But because now if you again show bone colors, you can see different pieces. Let's say that I want to switch it to select, select this one, this one, and this one, pressing uh, control when I am clicking on more of them. I want to also select their neighbors. And now I want to again fracture it all. So I want to have much more of these destroyed only in this part. Now click on, let's, let's do uniform. Let's do uniform. Uniform could be fun. And minimum Voronoi sides. So let's do 25 per 25. Oh, you know what? Let's, let's go a bit crazy. Yeah, let's be adventurous. Let's go 35 by 35 and fracture it. 
which left us with, with on level 0 we will have one piece which is this whole one on level 1 we will have 56 of them which was the same one as we saw previously and on level 2 it will also, also destroy these sections that we have selected before and it will be 127 pieces you can see that it's starting to do some bad things for my CPU and GPU so first of all let's Add here study unit, which will tell us how expensive it actually is. And if I simulate it, you can see that we are getting to very dangerous red numbers. And even if you didn't see it, you can see that it's lagging like hell. So to kind of fix that, we will have to use exactly this damage threshold system. These indexes are directly correlated to these indexes. So on level zero, I want it to be on around, you know what, let's, let's do more like 10,000 health. And once it will drop to 5,000 health, which will probably still get down from this fall, I want to have uh, 56 pieces. And once it will drop under 5, oh, um, let's, let's go 1,000, under 1,000, I want it all to be destroyed. I'm afraid that we have still a bit of rocky numbers and it will destroy all at once, but let's see. And you can see that our frame rate is keeping much more steady. And this hole actually stayed in one piece because there was no reason for it to be destroyed because health didn't fall that much down. But now if we actually go into game, you can watch it be destroyed, which is cool. But you can see that it's at level 2 at maximum. And let's say that I want it to get to level 3. Oh, level 1 and I want to get it to level 2, sorry. And it will be pretty much impossible with regular shooting. But if I actually hit it and take it against the wall or something, you can see it will destroy itself to more and more pieces. Collisions are really not its strong suit yet. But hopefully this all will be fixed uh, once it will be production ready. I probably should have sent, uh, I probably should have said sooner if it is not obvious. Don't use this in production, don't use it for your game. Not really ready for it. Hopefully it will be eventually. I would love to use this system once it will be improved and working and not crashing and not pressing the like button okay i had to put it there you know you know what i mean but right now it's really just for playing around and getting to know that system it's not usable for game all right and now let's, let's also just make sure that it works let's try to change these numbers a bit add zero to each of that so it shouldn't be destroyed at all let's see i can see but it's still pretty much in one piece, look at that. So together with geometric collections, you also need the scales assets, which you have imported before, because these are pre-made fields. Fields are basically different commands that you can use to modify how it will actually react. I also have to say, I haven't really made these assets. I basically stole them from Epic Chaos Demo. So if you want their, orig their original form, you can get them, but they don't really work with 4.26. So you have to modify them, etc, etc. But I've changed them a bit, so you can use them for whatever you want. As I said, uh, link in the description for download. And they have still they still have all the description from Epic. So if you want to really understand them, I'd definitely recommend you to go through that or just you can use them as presets so what anchor field basically does is it keeps part of the mesh that's inside it inside it <laughs> that's pretty much it it won't let it move so let's put it let's say here with every field system you also have to have this field system asset which some of them are here that i'm using or if you have to create new one you have to go into physics field system right here but right now we have here already one so what you also have to do is to click on your geometry collection and right here chaos physics settings you have to add here this initialization field so let's click on plus and add here our bp anchor field and what it now should do is to not fall down it should stay in the air because it's held by this so click on play and it doesn't work let's see where the problem is so now what i have done is basically just uh, delete it put it here again and add here the anchor field again and now it uh, weirdly works it actually i actually don't think even i had it here and it worked sometimes does sometimes doesn't you know there are things between beta and alpha version that you just can't explain <laughs> all right but as you can see it's not falling or doing anything even though it's set to active so 
if we can move it in any way around, it still should react the same. Yeah. But let's say that you want to change it in real time in the game. For that you can use all these other blueprints. They are basically different forces that you can look at and research how they are set up. And let's say that I want to add here a simple force field with a fall off. You can probably get what it means just from the name. So if you look inside, it will start 0.2 seconds after it will start. And you have to you, you can use strain magnitude and force magnitude, which you can of course set up also here to increase or decrease its strength. It will basically apply simple physics field with radial fall off, so it will be stronger in the center and slowly fall off. Then it will apply some kind of force, I think it's described here by Epic. Now let's put it here. And you can see that it worked. Look at that. You can put it anywhere you want and it will apply that strength and destroy part of it. And what let's... it's kind of boring when you have to do it in the editor, right? So what we will do is to edit our first person character so you can shoot these bullets and destroy that with them. So let's go into content, uh, first person VP, blueprints, uh, first person projectile. Oh, you can delete all that, it's kind of useless. And once it will hit anything, you want to spawn it so create actor from class that class should be of course force field with fall off so force field with fall off and it's and its location will be our hit location so spawn split structure pin connected here and then of course it needs to be destroyed so destroy actor and let's see if it works. So let's shoot it and it worked. Oh, of course, the problem was that we had here our 0.2 delay, which looks kind of weird, messy. So let's just get rid of it. I will just set it to zero. You will get those assets so you can edit it or delete it. All up to you, mate. And now you can see that I am sort of destroying it. Not really, not really sort of it, really. I'm really destroying it. But however hard I will shoot, I can destroy anything in this field. Right? There are there is a lot of different forces. For example, you can use random force, which will be, as you could have guessed, random force from different directions. You can again look at the strain magnitude, strain force, and put it here, or you can spawn it under the gun if you want. Alright, so now you know everything about chaos that you need to, or at least you know everything you need to to study more, which is basically as if any subject, and I'm blabbling again. Press the like button, subscribe, and by the way, if you know where this hoodie is from, let me know in the comments, you will get my heart. You know how it works here on YouTube, everyone work, wants, not works, wants, hearts, hearts, whatever, heartstone. I'm babbling again. See ya. Surfancy out.